Hey guys, Mary Jane 526, February 8th, so I took my second pill <laughs> for my teeth, so I'm so shocked that it doesn't make me sleepy, so that's a good thing. But I got seven minutes on the Instant Pot here, I got my um, lentil soup in there, and we're going to wash the litter boxes outside, so I already have everything out there, so I'm probably not going to be talking a lot while I do it. Because <laughs> I want to do it fast, so yeah. But I already ble I always bleach it ahead of time, and then I do it outside. And this what's the summertime. Then I don't do it outside. I mean, I use a hose, but right now it's cold. So coming outside with me. the outside part.
And this is what I love about the Instant Pot, because you don't have to be right by it when it's cooking. And look at that. I still got two nicks on the back. <laughs> so there's all the scratching posts. Uh, cat litter boxes. And then I rinse them out here. And that's how I wash my litter boxes when well, I can't use the hose. So that's why I have this cloth. It's for uh, cat litter stuff only, and cat stuff only. One minute on the Instapot. And actually, the small stuff I do in the sink because I got all the litter off. And I use pallets, so that's why I use pallets because clay takes a long so here's the instant pot. And That way, none of the litter gets down the drain. So, when all the parts dry, I'll show you how to put it together. Because this is one of the ones that you roll over the litter boxes. I don't, I think they're pointless. <laughs> it's easier just to scoop, in my opinion. But people who don't like the litter. Well, if you don't like litter, why get a freaking cat? <laughs> My ex is the same way. He never did the litter box, so I always did it. It says all my cat stuff is like six or seven years old. I could probably only get like ten bucks, ten or five bucks for most things I sell. <laughs>
But yeah, if you guys are going to carry a cat and you don't like cat litter, don't get a cat. <laughs> yeah, even the roll, the rollovers, because you still have to take out the litter, the scoop. I don't know. People are just so silly. I'm like, why well, have a cat if you can't deal with cat litter? I'm gonna wash this out now. box I actually got for free from Tyson and I like it because it's deep so it's good for a hold. Right. Now we need two litter boxes. <laughs> And the small litter boxes, I'm going to donate to the SBCA, but the big ones, like the rollover ones, those ones I'm going to sell. Because they're too big, and I need to uh, get money back for having like, so many cats. <laughs> Even though it's not a lot, $5 is $5. I might be able to get 10 for this, we'll see. You guys can't see. Put you on the chair. So once the box is washed, and this goes in the hallway. That one's for Josephine. And then because these ones are so big, they can't fit in the sink, so I just hand wash it. That's why I do it outside first. There's still more litter boxes that I gotta wash out. I'm not gonna do them all today. It's already getting dark. And I don't really have the space to like dry them all at the same time. And so I leave them in the kitchen. People are like, you had a family of five cats? And I'm like, yep. <laughs> and then I got another cat. After all that. It was fun, but... I've had enough pets to last me a lifetime, I think. Five bucks for this one because it's scratched up. <laughs> That's so good. At least I washed everything before I sell it. Let's 
So, I'm missing a part of this one. So, I believe. Yeah, this one's. The dry one is the bottom one. And then the other ones, I just do the top one, but there's also a middle part that I gotta wash. Which I'll see. That I have to do in the sink. Here we go, now you guys can see. Mm -hmm. These two I'll wash tomorrow or the weekend. Those are the, those are the lids. But yeah, it's like a rollover. Oh, this is the arch thing that I was talking about. I gotta clean that. So much cat stuff. So these I could wash in the sink because they're not that dirty. And let's put the scratching post together while we're here. I'm pretty sure I could get some money for this one. Because they're pretty expensive. I think they're like 20 bucks. Cut for 10. If I... But all the cats loved it. <laughs> Even speckles. But now I don't have so many cats, so I don't need all these scratching posts. So this one goes to go like this. I don't remember how it goes. <laughs> I like how it's a side scratching post. I thought I had more of these, but I guess not. So yeah, it just goes in like that. Like so. This one's actually a little dented, so I'm probably not going to get that much for it. But <clears throat> that's fine. Because I don't think we bring big stuff to the SPCA to get it donated. It's hard when I don't have a car. So I'd rather, I mean, oh, I don't think they take the big things anyways. So when I sell it, then people come here and pick it up. But like I said, I don't just give my... They can, and these things they could like buy the replacements, but it's still pretty good. Alright. So. And then, yeah, you can always just tape it, too. I think that's what I've been doing the past time, so I don't see any tape. So, this is a cool one. So, I like how you just put it in the corner. So, now I can sell this one. And this one. I wiped it down, but there's still uh, markings, I guess, from the cats, but that's normal, I guess, or maybe it was part of this, I don't really know. Oh, no, wait, it is part of the design, never mind. So, like, this one, I could probably get for, like, five bucks. Five bucks, five bucks, so, like, five, two, if you think about it, I just got five bucks for the scratching post. If I sell this one for five bucks, that's another five bucks. If I sell this one for five bucks, that's fifteen bucks right there. And then if I sell both scra uh, scratching posts for five bucks or ten bucks, there's another ten bucks there. So I gotta take photos of these and then post them all on Facebook. So that's probably what I'm gonna do next now that it's together. But I gotta wash these inserts. Now I gotta vacuum. <laughs> See, that's why I washed everything because this all the stuff from the floor was actually from this thing. So if I sold it like that, it'd be so bad. <laughs> so I am slowly getting rid of stuff. So now I gotta wash these with the bleach. Now the soup's done. One soup is done. 
I'm still going to stay up until I used to make the Japanese tofu steak. So I just have to cut up the mushrooms. And then do that. So I'm going to bleach this. I need to bleach. And that's how I wash stuff outside. I saw the bucket outside, but the ashtray that I gotta wash just outside. I'm just letting it soak. And then I dump it outside because I don't want my place to stink like cigarette smoke. <laughs> Even though I smoke, but. I don't smoke inside because it's just the So yeah, tomorrow, I'll show you guys how to put the little box together, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> I find it easier just to scoop the litter box, and most cats, they don't like the lid over the litter box. Like a lot of people think they do, but none of my cats would ever use the lid. If there's a lid on it, they wouldn't use it, take the lid off, they use it. So, I think it's because in the wild, uh, they have to know what's going on with the surroundings. So if it's closed off, they can't really see what's going on. So yeah, I think it's funny. <laughs> they have litter boxes with the lids on top. But I don't know any cat that uses it. So I guess some cats do. And then the people who scoop out their litter and put it down the toilet, I think are lazy. It's not that hard to put in a bag. It's actually against the law in Vancouver. But people don't want to listen. But eventually it'll probably clog up your thing. <laughs> But whenever I buy anything new or used, I always wash it regardless if they did. <laughs> Cause you guys know how I feel about that. <laughs> show you guys how I clean the ash first. It's kind of obvious. <laughs> All I do is just soak it and then I dump it and then I wash it and then I dry it. 
simple. So now I just had miso soup. <laughs> and I'll show you the soup that I need. So this is the instant pot <clears throat> everyday lentil soup. I should have added more uh, veggie broth, but mm. <clears throat> it's still good. Lentils are good for you. And then I just don't add the spices. So finally, getting rid of stuff feels good. Hot, hot. <laughs> that was hot. <laughs> I can never wait for things to cool down. I'm like, I gotta have it now. So there's more broth in the instant pot though. So I hope you enjoyed how I clean stuff. <laughs> so much easier with the hose. And this is how I eat. I eat with a lot of juice things. <laughs> And then I eat again when I'm about to take a hot CB and rest. <laughs> Should I eat the rest of this in two minutes? <laughs> I think so. It's about 28. Minutes I've been recording. Yep. I ate it. <laughs> so there's the soup. So like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll be back when I'm done. The foodie takes white Japanese tofu steak. Here on Phantom Stories.